And just like that, we have this new banner drop, a day change. And at first glance, it looks pretty cool. We have some limited characters here. But if you just dig in a little more, you'll find out that we have so many limited banners on here. And the rates aren't great. It's something, but they're there. And if you, for example, you always wanted A2, you know, she's still pretty good. She's got power crept a little bit. But let's say you just started on Persona Banner and you don't have a, a DPS Greatsword user yet. Maybe you want A2 and the, uh, there's lots of good news here. One, you can do a pity in 150, which is, you know, less than the usual 200. And uh, in general, this banner has a double rate four star drop. So again, if you're a new player, you know, you can uh, pity someone you want and on the way, get a bunch of weapons and maybe some other normal pool characters that you uh, that you need or <laughs> not just normal pool. A ton of limited. So we have uh, both Automata banners. We have New Year's, Christmas. We have Celeb 1, Celeb 2. Uh, we don't have Final Fantasy 14 on here. We don't have the Summer 1 we just got, and we don't have the Celeb that we just got. But lots of stuff on here. Personally, I have most of these characters, and I'm I'm pretty good. Um, you know, this, this umbrella weapon is like a critical sub weapon for a snipe build in arena, for example, if you don't have the umbrella. So please know that you, if you pull here and you're hoping for someone to drop, that the chances are very low that any individual character might drop. So if you're sitting on a pile of gems and you really wanted Celeb Gale, or you really wanted Christmas Akeha. This is your chance, and uh, with, you know, uh, another chance at something cool dropping along the way. As for who they displayed, it's kind of confusing, because, you know, someone who, who doesn't go and click here on rates, or the exchange, might just be like, oh, okay, 2B, Summer Akeha, uh, Celeb Saryu, uh, okay, but no, they're all in here. By the way, she got buffed, and she's still not really meta, just so you know. Um, sorry, you. Th this just came up in my last stream. I was doing light team subjugation, and I was so hell-bent on using her because she's totally built as a light DPS. But um, my chat, uh, especially Billy, shout out to Billy, <laughs> told me, no, dude, just just use Celeb Marie. She's going to be better. And then I ended up putting someone else on that team anyway. So she's great, but recently I, I booted her off my team. Okay, and then here, uh, you want this umbrella. You really want this umbrella. It's the only ambush fleet foot weapon in the game. That's timed fleet foot, by the way. And uh, again, a critical sub weapon on a snipe build in PvP. Cool, so let's look at the exchange over here and get a better view of the characters. The other thing I didn't mention is that you can pity any normal pool character. Now, I almost dropped a video the other day because... Let's head let's back here real quick. Because we just got the weekly for Bloody Griff. And I wanted to talk about how much of a game changer he is. And uh, Most likely you've come up against him in Arena and he's just been a huge pain in your neck. And uh, he's really a game changer in Arena. So if you really want him and lots of Ascensions, you might even just go ahead and pull here because he will actually have a, a nice boosted rate here. But it could also make a lot of sense if you're missing a lot of these limited characters. Wow, we have a lot of banners right now. That you just go ahead and pull here. And, um, and if you have everyone but Bloody Griff, you can pull it here, hope to get some dupes along the way, and then exchange for Bloody Griff. Okay, a lot of people are going to want A2 that don't have her yet, and she still is good. Uh, you know, she did get power creeped a little bit with recent banners, but maybe you don't have those characters anyway. And and let's say you just started on Persona, and uh, you don't have a, a DPS Greatsword user yet. She's still pretty good. If you have a Queen, they're basically built the same way with Queen being kind of a power-crept version of A2. Maybe you just want A2 for the, you know, 
to have the character. Um, I would say Celeb Gale, still very worth getting. You don't have her yet. If you got Celeb Marie, you could probably sleep on her. Uh, it doesn't hurt to have both of them, though. Uh, Demos is still awesome in Arena. Check out my last uh, Arena recap video. New Year 063Y, still a pretty good Provoke tank, although Griff is pretty much better in every way. Okay, Christmas Akeha is maybe the best choice here if you don't have her. Absolute top tier support in Subjugation. And I've even used her in Arena. She's not popular in Arena, but it's pretty cool. I didn't have many Valiance characters at the time. So she gives uh, attack up and HP up to the party and has a really nice pursuit buff on her character skill. That's why she's so good in PvE. So if you don't have her, it might be a really good idea to do your 150 pulls here and trade for her. Okay, yeah. The Umbrella here, I've talked about it. And I'm getting into the normal pool characters now. If you see, if we come down here, you can go ahead and get Bloody Griff. So even if you've been playing for like eight months and you have a lot of these limited characters and you're satisfied, but you didn't get Griff yet, maybe you want to pull here, get some dupes of the limited characters, you know, a chance at the dupes. Or maybe there's like a really nice, for me, for example, um, I never got this. And I really need better. I, I need some fire support because I don't have either uh, her or Fractured Akeha for fire support. Uh, I watched Gotham's video. Shout out to Gotham, and he mentioned that uh, bloody uh, bloody Argo is also a really good choice here. And I didn't think of that because I don't have him, but he's a mega support. He's got uh, Valiant's passive. That's attack up to the party. He's also got a training passive, which is, you know, interesting. Um, that's, you know, increases your chance at a, a chaining normal attacks. But he's got a pursuit buff on his character skill. And if you get the third awakening on him, he also gets resilience. That's HP up to the party. So he's a killer support. Uh, I wouldn't have thought of that because, again, I don't have him. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should trade for him. But I'm not going to be pulling personally. I have pretty much all of these... Characters, I'm just missing, personally, I'm just missing um, Christmas Lavania. And I've lived okay without him so far. Uh, I do need a little bit of help on my light teams. But I actually want to save. I still think something really nice and new is right around the corner. We don't know, but the fact that they didn't have a devoted Automata rerun banner and just did this instead... And that they just released the new version of Automata on Switch. Makes me feel uh, a lot of us are speculating and it, it could just be hopium, but makes me feel like maybe there's a new Automata coming with new characters. Again, I don't know that. There's not even uh, anything data mined. And even if it was, I, I wouldn't spoil it, but we just don't know. But everything ends on the 12th. So we're wondering what is coming and, you know, you either wish for a new limited banner for something cool or you wish for nothing cool so that you can save gems longer. I don't know. But I, I really just wanted to get this P, uh, PSA out here uh, about every one of these characters being on the banner. Yeah, look at two Ps over here. She, you know, unfortunately, I don't use her much anymore. I have her Awakening 4. She's strong as hell, has a 5 hit. And I still can't even figure out where to cram her in anymore. So if you're pulling for favorites, it could be good. But once again, just because I'm rambling, Celeb Gale, Christmas Akeha, and I mean, really those two would be the biggest reason. And uh, I, I assume a lot of people want A2. Okay, that's how I feel about this banner. Uh, there are a lot of other cool things to talk about. We got some new quality of life and everything. So check out Gotham's video. And uh, homeboy Ziggy dropped a video on this too. Check out his video. I'm sure he talks. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm sure he talks about a lot more of the quality of life. I just wanted to get the PSA out there on this banner. Just so you know, 
all of those limited banners are right here. You got double raid up, so you're just going to get lots of purple drops, hopefully, in general. Then you can pity that character you always wanted. All right, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. As always, hit like, subscribe, comment below to help me grow this channel. Thanks so much for the support. See you in the next one. Ooh.